Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome to the third and final Ocalmo Games game video before my next next major let's play series. This time we're playing something well, you'll see. As this is new and as this is one of the earlier games there are only three language options. As usual, we're going English. In the town of Vortex Point, you never know what you might see. Witchcraft, ghosts, and UFOs. Everything's creep. Kevin, Craig, and Caroline. Investigating paranormal crimes. The town of Vortex Point. Yeah, the town of Vortex Point. Yep. Vortex Point 3. Lake Monsters. As usual settings, things are... Well, we covered these in the previous two videos, so I don't really see the point in covering them again. They're also... And this game can be found on mouncity.com congregate and Carmel games dot com the congregate account and for the developers is is aesthetics e s t h e t a x a link we he provided in the description anyway <laughs> let's get on with it Nothing overly interesting in here. We don't need anything in the drawers, so. Hey Craig, what are you working on? I'm investigating the mysterious case of some poisoned Halloween candy. You do that. Remind me again what I'm supposed to do. I suggest you pay a visit to the Vortex Lake Hotel and start looking there. That's a good idea. Well, that's what we're gonna do then. Working with the police. Oh, I guess you're here to investigate the disappearance of one of my guests. Tom something? Tom Martin. And yes. Yes, I am. What can you tell me about it? He said he was going to the lake with his camera to try and take some pictures of the monster, but he never came back. Later that day, my friend who owns the souvenir shop told me he found a torn shirt with bloodstains on it. When I saw the shirt, I realized it's Tom's. That's when I called the police. Are we going to get to see the shirt ourselves? No, we are not. Could you give me the key to Tom's room? And another room for me too. Looks like I'm going to stay the night. You're lucky the hotel is empty right now, but tomorrow morning people from all over the world are coming here. The place will be packed. Everyone wants to see the monster. Here are the keys. Room one belongs to Tom. Room two is for you. Room two is for you. That's a good ride, actually. Don't forget to sign in tomorrow for a boat ride in our state-of-the-art computerized boat. You just type in the coordinates and it takes you where you want to go. Alright, we better start the investigation. That TV sure is old, but then again, so is the hotel. I found the TV remote under the pillow. It doesn't work. I'm not sure if the remote batteries are dead, 
or if the TV is broken. Okay, well. We could probably use that for something later. We have running running wood is good. Let's try the soft pillow. Let's try the remote control. It's the vortex per it might be a good Okay, sure. Never find that key, by the way. 1988. I think I'll just do with anything. Thing for now. Anyway, you know, let's do, let's see the, the souvenir shop. It's actually really tiny. Hey, can't you read the sign? Toilets are for paying customers only. This is the cheapest thing I can buy. How about the Vortex Lake official lighter? It's only four bucks. I don't have any money right now. Well, come back when you do. That's the first fish I ever caught on Vortex Lake. I keep it for good luck, and it's not for sale. Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm working with the police on the missing tourist case. Oh dear, such a tragedy. I feel sorry for him to be eaten by a monster. That's horrible. You're saying there really is a monster? Oh yes. Well, maybe. All I know is that the monster is good for business. Hmm. And apparently this place is supposed to be dying. So... You're right. We had a slow season since the last time the monster attacked about a year ago. I believe tomorrow we'll have lots of visitors. Okay, sure. What happened the last time the monster attacked? The monster ate my uncle's leg. He was so scared that he left the country and I haven't seen him since. Well, that's suspicious. Slightly. All right. Thanks for the information. Right. So from here, you can either call the the burger place or go back to the office and get some money by the. Lighter. I think in this case, what we're going to do is the lighter right, first. Money. It's for the sake of the investigation. How much do you need? Just four dollars. That's it. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. No problem. I buy this lighter for four dollars? Of course. Here you go. Thank you for shopping. Now may I use the bathroom? Yes, you may. A toilet? It's a dirty toilet. That is a dirty toilet. And you know what? We're gonna make it completely unusable. I throw the toilet paper inside. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Perfect. Now the toilet is clogged. The toilet is clogged. Not again. And that's such a bad time. I'd better go look for the plunger. He's gonna spend the entire rest of the, the game doing that. So while he does that, we're going to take care of the other thing. 
Will it take 30 or may I take your order? I'll have the Super Mega 4 pound burger. Alright, what's your address? I'm staying at the Vortex Lake Hotel, room 2. My name is Kevin. <laughs> Alright, Kevin. Your mail is on its way. What the hell is going on here? I think the receptionist guy stole my burger. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, well, I just want to go upstairs and check that safe code again. 1988. Okay. I opened the safe and found the key. I put it in my pocket and placed the photo back on the wall. Now, there's something behind the, the fish. I took the fish in my hand and discovered a secret locked drawer behind it. I found a note and a key inside the drawer. I'd better put the fish back so no one will notice I've been snooping. Key and a note. To the pier. The hotel boat that takes tourists around the lake. It's computerized, so I'll need to input coordinates and the key to drive it. One thirty, eighty-four, something, something else. What is worth the answers here? There are eight and thirty-four, respectively. So one thirty, eighty-four, Ooh, creepy. Alright, we're gonna use the light to light things That's up a bit. Better. And there's a secret... a door! Unfortunately, we don't know what the code for it is, so we're gonna have to... go back to the... these... in the hotel. Oh, once again, what's the answer? Up, 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 square. Back to the pier. Back onto the boat, to the island. And up, 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 square. Looks like a secret cave. I have a feeling of deja vu. Case number 71013. I found the missing Tom Martin tied up inside a cave on a deserted island in Vortex Lake. A 
According to his testimony, he was kidnapped by the Vortex Lake Hotel owner, the very same person who stole my burger, and his partner, the souvenir shop guy. During his questioning at the Vortex Police Station, the souvenir shop guy said that they did it in order to attract more tourists to the dining attraction. Now the hotel is up for sale. Case closed. Well, there we go. Anyway, next time... Well, the whole new the Let's Play series will be starting. I'm honestly excited that it's a classic a game, one I, I love playing, so... Honestly, I'm excited to see what you guys think of it as well. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the, and hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed but you haven't been receiving notifications, then click the bell icon down below next to the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any further a notification for videos that I upload. Share the video with your friends if you, if you think they might enjoy my content as well. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts. And my Facebook, Twitter and Discord information is in the description box down below. The exact same place it always is. Alright, I'll see you guys next time for the start of the next X Let's Play. Until then, Josh, out.